Coin on. Hello, YouTube Coin Community. It's me, Robert, with Coin Off. We're going to continue on now with another birth year. Um, we had Blockhead and Lincoln Central Coins both take, and in the last video, asked for me to take and do the year 1961. Now, in 1961, honestly, we didn't have a whole lot. But first, before we go any farther, if you want me to look for your birth year, I'm going to do this on a video by video. In other words, to where when this video goes up, I'll look at the comment section down below. So please leave in the comments your birth year, and we'll see if we can get to that. Um, I'm not going to go back and look at past ones. So if you put your name or your birth date, and one in the past, please update it and put it in this video so that I'll see it again. Um, that way there, I don't have to keep searching through for all the different birth years. However, Blockhead and Lincoln had asked me to do it for 61. And like I say, there's not a whole lot there, but there is a $14,000 variety out there that you could have in your proof sets. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, I want to go across a little bit of history and just add a little bit to some of the fun of the history of, you know, collecting coins. Back in 61, the price of gold was $35.25. I noticed that and it's like, wow, I wish I could buy some of that today at that price. Um, a brand new home, depending upon where you lived in the United States, would run you anywhere from $12,500 to $17,200. Not bad here again, you know, that was all 1961. A new car would cost you about 2850 and a gallon of gas would cost you anywhere from 21 to 31 cents a gallon. Oh, I wish we had those prices today. <laughs> um, a gallon of milk would cost you about 49 cents and a dozen of eggs would cost you about 30 cents. So... Whoa, the good old days when the price of things were very reasonable. Um, also, I wanted to point out that in September the 21st, our then president, John Kennedy, appointed Eva Adams as the 30th Mint Director. And this, she was the second woman appointed to that position, and she served from 1961 to 1969. So those are just a few things of what was happening back in 1961. So... I hope you like that addition to the video because I'm trying to take and make it a little more interesting and add some facts to the coins that we all enjoy. Now, let's take a look at a few of the varieties that I've chosen for this year. There's not a whole lot, but there is a very expensive one that you'll definitely want to look in your proof sets for. So, without further ado, let's take a look at those right now. As I said, we're going to start off with some of the Lincoln Cent RPMs. In 1961, the RPM number one had a really nice D over horizontal D that you see in the pictures here. PCGS has a price value guide on them for an MS63 red of $35. And they go all the way up to a Mint State 66 red of $285. Now, I found several of these and they always put a smile on my face. Now, I wanted to also show you in 1961, here's an RPM number 5, and we're going to jump right on to the RPM number 7, and another is the RPM number 9, with the last one being the RPM 14, all of which are in the top 100 RPMs for that year. If when searching, if you happen to find a few of these, they only range from 3 to $25 depending upon the grade and the condition of your coin. I'm certain you can get more if they are high grades and less, of course, if they're circulated. Now, if you happen to have a 1961 proof set because that's your birth year, you definitely want to get it out and look at the Franklin Half Dollar on the back side of it. This is the Fevis Stanton FS801 Double Die Reverse. You can see it, it's extremely strong on the United States and half dollar, basically all on the entire left side of the Franklin half. I'm showing you some pictures of all of the different letters and just how strong it is, especially on the E pluribus unum. If you happen to find one, PCGS has this for a proof 63 at $750. I think you can get more than that. However, for a proof 66 plus cameo, 
the price is a whopping $14,500. I've been looking for this variety for years and I've fell short so far to where I have never found one. Now there are a couple of other minor ones you may want to look it up in the uh, reference catalogs. I've found a few of them and they usually fetch a couple hundred dollars. So still, it's worth taking and getting out and looking for them. Now this is what I have for the year 1961. Again, there's more. However, they were very minor. They'll get you a buck or two um, for some of the more minor varieties. I do know that there's a lot of other different varieties for that year. You also have clip planchets and things of that nature. So don't take in um, just because I've only shown a few of them in this video. Don't think that that's all of them. Look it up again in your uh, in just a variety attribution uh, DoubleDye.com, that's a great place. I'll leave a link down below for you. And don't forget, if you have a birth year that you'd like for me to take and to look up and do some research on, I'm gonna, I'm, I want to know what you think about me adding to some of the historicals as far as putting the price of a house, the price of gold at that time, and things of that nature, just to where you can reflect and think about the good old days when you was born and what the prices of things were. Um... Don't forget, I am teaming up with Daniel of Coin Help You, and we'll be taking and we'll be doing little discussions a couple times every month. We want to help you, the subscriber, learn more about this hobby and help you educate you to where you won't get taken advantage of. There's a lot of online resources that are doing just that. They're taking advantage of people by overcharging. We see $10,000 pennies that are worth well, face value. And we're trying to help keep you from doing that. So stay tuned to uh, me and Daniel with Coin Help You, and we'll keep you going in the right direction. Um, I do hold an auction every Friday at 3 p.m. with every other Friday at 8 p.m. And from time to time, me and Joe Durbin, we join together and we have an auction for you if you're interested in buying. We start them out at great prices, so hopefully you can find a bargain and pick up something that you need for your collection. Now, I also have an auction on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Um, I don't know if we're doing them on this Wednesday, but if you take and subscribe, hit the bell, you'll definitely know because we'll take and we will uh, post it early and schedule it to be live, and we'll have an auction. Um, let me know down below your birth year, and we'll see if we can't do a video that will take and highlight the year that you was born. So, don't forget, hit the like, subscribe, and join in our family of just having a lot of fun in the coin community. Take care, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and happy hunting all. Thank you.